hepatitis is a really broad term. There's a variety of infections and inflammations that can affect really any part of the interior of the eye. Many different causes, many different symptoms. If the inflammation is in the front part of the eye, often people will have redness or pain or sensitivity to light. That usually brings them in very quickly to the doctor. But if it's in the back of the eye, they may have some mild blurred vision for a while or they may see floaters and delay coming in. So usually the first thing that people ask me when they find they have uveitis is why do I have this? They've never heard of it. They know or have been told by me that it might be associated with some sort of illness elsewhere in the body. A good example would be that a lot of uveitis is associated with arthritis. Uh, we will often do laboratory testing. We'll take photographs of the eye. We may take radiologic studies such as chest x-rays. There's an extensive workup and we try to pinpoint that based on what we find on the initial physical examination regarding which part of the eye is inflamed, what does it look like, what sorts of diseases have been associated with those particular findings. I would say that about 50% of the time, we never really determine what has caused the uveitis. We can describe it and we can manage it, but we really can't say that there's a definite problem that goes along with it or a definite disease elsewhere in the body that we can treat. There are a variety of treatments for uveitis. They vary from simple drops that can be used to treat the symptoms of iritis, uh, drops of corticosteroids. Uh, for more serious cases, we might have to use oral corticosteroids or prednisone. Beyond that step, if it's serious, if it's site-threatening, if it's involving the back of the eye, we might feel it necessary to use what we call immunomodulatory agents to try to get their immune system back under control and stop attacking the eyes. We have immunosuppressive agents, we have agents that are called biologics that try to mimic the natural processes in the immune system to get it under regulation again and make the eyes stop being inflamed. So our job is to decide where is it in the eye, what are the symptoms, how severe is it, what does it correlate with, if anything, in the systemic compartment that also needs to be treated, and what is the best agent that we can use to treat that particular type of uveitis.